Looking back to conversations I had with my dad, I think he had it much easier than me. And I don't just mean that it's been tougher for me to make my career in business because I'm a woman, though that's true as well. No, it's just that professional development was much more accessible for his generation. He worked for a big corporation and they planned his training and development from the point he joined them as a young graduate. In company training programs, job rotation opportunities, sponsored MBA and the rest. For me, it's a very different picture. I'm a reasonably successful middle manager and I've been promoted a couple of times, but I think I'm in danger of stagnating in the company I work for and I'd like a change. The trouble is there's been very little investment in training and development and I don't have the sort of paper qualifications that a bigger organisation would want to see. Our performance management scheme is a bit useless and although it does allow me to flag up training I'd like to do, I've never really had the time to explore the options and I doubt if they'd fund it anyway. When I first joined the business, I was lucky in that I reported to someone who was willing to spend a lot of time with me, explaining how things worked and supporting me as I learnt new things on the job. Trouble is that in the current climate, no one seems to have the time for those sorts of things. I'm not really sure if I'm a good manager or not, to be honest. I meet my targets and my team seems pretty efficient. But whether I'm kidding myself about moving into a more senior post somewhere, well, I just don't know. I like reading the business papers and I'm careful to keep up to date in my specialist area by going on one-day courses and so on. I think I'm a pretty good learner. My boss did mention the other day that they were looking for a representative to join the local Chamber of Commerce board, but that's not really going to help me and it looks like most of the meetings seem to be in the evenings anyway.